Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all shapes, abilities, and genders, welcome back to the Isbert Games channel. I am your host and one of the Spirit Squad and also moderator, Robert Merlot, and I have assumed correct direct control, and I'm excited to be back. Um, I have worn my one of my special jackets for the occasion. I have a mask masquerade pin ready to go, and... I have uh, one of the pocket squares that uh, Bender gave to me for Secret Santa. Thank you, Ocelot. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate the compliment. I, thank you, thank you. All right. So, I have, um, I've taken a few of the old assets that Jacob gave to me from the last time I assumed control, did a little touch-up, and, um, well... It's what you see before you now. Without further ado, let's... Oh, wrong game store. Um, let's get control up and running, shall we? Oh. It's the app. It... I am excited to play, um, Control. I'm excited. Alright. Let's... Fade that out. Let's do this. That. And... Let's get started. Without further ado, let's... Let's get started, shall we? We're gonna play Control. Oh, I set up the graphics a little bit earlier, but I haven't, um, I haven't actually booted the game. I have heard there have been some issues with this particular version of the PC port, which kind of scared about, but I haven't actually run the game because I didn't want to spoil. I I've seen some things already, um, I've seen speedruns of this game, I've seen some gameplay, but I'm excited to to see how it looks. Let's just make sure, shall we? Display, borderless, yeah. Detail high, SSAO, ray traced, yes. It's 1080p, so we should be fine. All right. Headphone, yep. Subtitles, audio and text language is English. All ahead full. Let's go. Let's go. Fair warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. Oh. So here I am. Oh. <laughs> I know I shut you out sometimes. Everything is fine. <laughs> I'm always glad to hear from you. Yeah. It's yes, we can't do it after the game intro. I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it, and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison You're movie. very right, this Ocelot, this is the very cave analogy. And the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. 
The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Yes. Anyone here? One second, I'm gonna hit that because... Ocelot, you are right. I forgot to do the I forgot to do the opening intro that is usually done on the Isbert Games channel. I um once again, I'm Robert Merlot. I am your host for this evening. Um <clears throat> and I'm hosting on behalf of uh <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. I am in good company with Fizz. Helps that we live together. Um, I'm your host for this evening, and I am hosting on behalf of Yisbird Games, an indie game publisher that publishes such games as uh, Valhalla, um, Bart uh, Cyberpunk Bartending Action, um, We Remember Caterpillars, Y2K, um, Masquerade of Songs and Shadows, uh, World of Horror, um, No Place for Bravery, and uh, the upcoming Nirvana. Actually, No Place for Bravery and uh, Nirvana are both upcoming. Uh, World of Horror is out on early access. Um, and, oh, yes, <laughs> Ocelot, it is modular. I am just giving everybody a taste of the game, um, as it were. Um, so... Have I missed anything? I don't believe I've missed anything. I don't think? Have I? Sarah, Ocelot, have, have I missed anything? Oh yes, Skylar Ringtail, thank you very much. Um, if you'd want to see more of us, you can uh, follow us on all the social medias. Um, uh, Twitter primarily, follow us on our Discord. Uh, we have... Um, there are, yes, there are currently sales on GOG and the, uh, the Nintendo UK eShop. And, um, yes, and this will be posted like all of our VODs on the uh, Yesbird Games YouTube channel, which is um, uh, Discord, if you want to find us there, that is discord.gg slash Um YouTube is youtube.com slash Yesbird Games. And, um, Twitter and Facebook are both Twitter and Facebook.com slash for games. Uh, without further ado, yes, uh, Ocelot did mention uh, content warning. There is um, suicide in this game. I believe that's the only big one, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe that's it. But without uh further what is going um without further ado let us continue shall we oh transformation core i guess because i only watched the speed run i don't know oh hold up oh pretty oh my sense is a little high one second Options, controls, um, gameplay, mouse sense. Let's turn that down a bit. And I can't test aim. Oh, well, that's a little high too. Let's. That's want it to be a little smoother. There we go. Prohibited items reminder. All right, we're we're we're. I'm not here to speed run. I'm not here just for. I'm here for all the content. What do we have here? Correspondence. 
Federal Bureau of Control. Reminder, certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials, unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smart watches, smart phones, smart gaming devices, anything smart. Number two pencils. Any objects consider iconic representations of an archety uh, archetypical con uh, archetypal concept. Example, rubber ducks, ketchup bottles. All material under Bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your su supervisor immediately. Number two pencils. Okay, I know a bit about control. I can understand certain electronics interfacing weird with how the built pencils? Pencils? Is it all pens in this facility? Everything's permanent? Any objects considered iconic representations of an arch archetypal concept? Rubber ducks, ketchup bottles, number two. Huh. Interesting. I get that. That makes sense, Sarah. The pencils fit with, with the point below. Iconic representations of an um, archetypal concept. Okay, cool. Yeah, Ocelot, this is very SCP, which, uh, SCP is a, um, it's essentially a fan site with a bunch of fan entry, uh, a bunch of, um, entries of, uh, supernatural items that must be secured by the SCP Foundation, or the Secure, Contain, Protect Foundation, um, uh, SCP has some really, really good stuff, um, and some really, really goofy stuff, and some stuff that's just kind of, eh. Their quality control is pretty high on the official SCP entries, though. There are a l there's a lot of stuff going on. Oh, that opened automatically. This seal, I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Research expenditures. Alright. I'm going to be spending all day looking at this stuff, and you know what? I don't care. <laughs> Research. St major. Staffing surveillance. Redacted. Data center initiative. Construction. Redacted. Redacted. Minor. Office equipment. Janitorial costs. Redacted. Mold removal. HQ livability costs. Cost breakdown spreadsheet. See page 5. For 5 year comparison chart. See page 9. It was compiled by the FBC Accounting Department by order of Director Zachariah Trench, who we will be seeing soon. Hold up. Oh, okay. Wait, what? what is up with that? Sorry. It's just how the game is handling paintings. Because when you're this far away, see how pixelated that is? And then you get closer, and then it... Okay. Interesting. Control is... Alhamnat, control is basically, what if we couldn't officially license the SCP wiki? The game. <laughs> oh, right, I can't... Mm, right, okay going on in this thread this is a bathroom federal bureau of control oh, wow. all these years i've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight yeah organizations such as this tend to do that they tend to do that a lot hold on did something open seek shelter oh we're in a lockdown protocol. And um, I don't know if this is the case with Control, but I know in the SCP Foundation, if there is a containment breach and it's deemed 
well extreme enough, they will set off the base's nuclear um, nuclear weapon in order to ensure that the containment breach is contained as much as possible. Room security order. Spicy. One dropped leaf by the planter. Which plant? Oh, not this one. Which planter? Ocelot? Sarah, everything is fine. Yeah, the red light that says seek shelter, everything's empty. You know, it's fine. Everything's great. R4 reports reminder. Ah, the janitor. One second, I'll be right with you, janitor man. I'm checking... That a, the lack of smart anything, you know, because it mentions smart watches and all that, which means this is set in the modern day, but all the equipment is very much analog, I think out of necessity, right? The building is based on the AT&T routing building in New York City that has no windows and housed the NSA's wiretapping program. I remember hearing something about that. That. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm a janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they uh, you are no hell of it. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sound. Yeah, Ati. I've done enough night shift loader jobs to know it makes us come on. Ati kind of like. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Okay. That's a ding ding. Hold up. Hey? The cell and the poster. Yeah. Ati totally did respond to our inner monologue. You are right, Sarah. They told me I imagined it. I think Ati reminds me of one of the doctors in the SCP lore. Will you help? This game's very pretty. Yeah, it was a painting, yeah. Again, very... it's very foundation. QA. They're... the unsung heroes of the video game industry. Uh, the SCP Foundation, uh, uh, Kushinoki is secure, contain, protect. Yeah, Skylar Ringtail. QA, your cousin's from another industry. What moment? the? You know what's there on we my go. mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Okay. 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. Okay. Oh, we got an automatically opening door. Oh. We have a containment breach. Obviously. Yeah, lockdown protocol is in place. There's stuff? Looking for stuff. Looking for collectibles, give me all the collectibles. All of them. 
Take note of the paintings as I go. Will do. Interesting. Central executive. Oh. Oh. Content warning, everybody. The aftermaths of a suicide. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Come on. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <sighs> Look at this place. Where am I? And we are on the astral plane. Can I hover? No, not yet. Waiting for my telekinetic abilities. All slash none of the above. Oh, we got enemies. Oh, I can just punch them. Get over here. Ooh. Oh, they drop little droplets of hella of healthy. Sweet. The same gun. I have to earn the hovers. Thank you, Ocelot. Alright, hold on, let me just... Ooh, quick! Oh, it's that kind of reload system. It's essentially... Wait. Hi, friends. Wow, my shooting's awful. Wow, my shooting is terrible. Basically takes itself apart, shoots parts of itself, which then come back and reattach. That is cool. That's really cool. Oh, hello, friend. Nope. Oh. Oh, that is cool. You have like a a telekinetic force thing that you use. Can't wait till this thing turns into a sh a shoot gun. Or an SMG. I'd take an SMG. Oh, well, you got gun. I'm sorry, what? Feel, why does the shooting feel weird? I don't know, it just it feels somewhat odd. Headshots count for more damage, yes. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll, uh, Almanac. But center mass is a little easier for me, I will. My mouse sense might be too high. Yeah, it's a little. Did you Let me actually that? just turn that down a bit. Yeah. It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. 
You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. All right. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Director's office. We're going right outside. How does this feel? It feels smoother. Yeah, I've turned down the sense a bit on the mouse itself. All right. We ready? Oh, come on. Keep shooting, Jesse. You can't let this happen. 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 In these trying times, I could use a foul. I could use an FAL. A good old rifle. You stopped it. Can't shoot, must plot. Thank you. Oh, there's dispersion. Is there? Oh, yes, there is a cover system. Oh, undefined reading. Defined reading. Is there stuff I missed? Maybe that spawned. Oh, come on. So this is a live action video of the woman they mapped to make her fit make her avatar. That's cool. Take cover. <laughs> I kind of have an old school way of uh, thinking about cover shooters. Executive affairs. Now, if I remember correctly, there's a way that the game spawns enemies. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you mind? Oh, yeah, there is a way that the game spawns enemies. It's usually around you, around your location. Ooh, that was a spicy hit. More enemy. can't shelter maximum occupancy six persons shelter model m72 shelter shelter id g1-002 protection rating military standard 810-8103 You guys didn't make it. Material, house memory. Marshal, awe investigations. You guys didn't make it. What if I do this number? That is cool. The floating people are all saying stuff, Ocelot. I can't make out a lot of it, but yeah, I would assume so. Oh, there's materials. Time to find reading. What is this stuff? Tab. That's back to the director's office. Things have changed. The house has shifted. Oh, there's a thing. Dinner reservations? Hold on, this is Central Executive. I have to say, fantastic graphic design on that. Just, just dark font choice, I love it. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. <laughs> that battle's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. 
Oh, what do we got? Visitor evaluations. Urban legends. Fabricated urban urban legends, perhaps? Or are they leads that they have to follow up on? Well, let's cleanse this place, baby. Um what? Do I have to jump? Am I entering a combat arena? Arena? Is stream safe mode on? Um. Enable tutorials. Assist mode disabled. Oh, for the music? I don't see an option. Audio, perhaps? Oh, mute copy. No, I haven't muted any of the copyrighted music. No. There's no mute on the copyrighted music at all. Oh. I should probably do that. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> Almanac, I appreciate that. Thank you. We are entering what looks like a combat arena. Shall we? Oh, I should have shot that guy. Oh, I got... I got goozled. I actually got hit. Oh, one of these guys? Oh, God. Let's kill the ads. Oh, that's not good. I need a I need the hella. I need hella. Thank you. Can I cleanse it now? Shift the brutalist architecture back to normal. Holy shit! You did it. We did it. Hello. Can you hear me? I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. Normal brutalist as opposed lie. to cursed brutalist. Yes. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. What weapons is this guy fielding? Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, that works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. We, uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy. But he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. 
you did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. I, this is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily we don't have to set off a nuke. Yeah. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss I want to take a look at what kind of weapon this guy's wielding. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold on, I, I need to take a look at your gun, sir. It's a bolt. what? It's like a modernized EM-2. What the hell? Oh, I can see where they took design cues from, that is cool. That's really cool, I'm not gonna lie, that's really cool. Yeah, that that man's poor thumb is clipping through, but I don't think they thought a player would take a look at what an NPC is carrying. Not that... Ooh, control points. Board room. Always explore all the things for stuff. Because you never know what'll be useful. Undefined reading. I don't know what this stuff does. Cleanse the hiss. Oh, that guy. Yeah, I'll get to him in a minute. Shifted bathroom complaint. Yeah, that weapon looked very... It's like, as I said, it looked like a modernized EM-2. Which, for those who don't know, the EM-2 was the service rifle briefly adopted by the British military um, in the 1950s, or like right after World War II. And then the United States said, no, we need bigger round. And then the rest of NATO said, okay, fine, we'll go with a bigger round. And this was, supplement was, was supplanted by the FNFAL, the, the arm of the free world as it was later known. Um, but the EM-2 was a bullpup design by the British in an intermediate caliber. Um, 280, I believe, was the caliber. It's it's really gun nerdy stuff that you, I get into by watching Forgotten Weapons. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the FNFAL is... Uh, in the British, in British military service, it was known as the SLR, and it was, um, it was, oh, that's locked. Uh, it was issued in semi-auto only because their military saw absolutely no purpose in full auto because it's just not controllable for a modern, for a regular soldier to field it. Like, uh, 762, like... A 762 NATO in full auto just isn't feasible. But other models of FAL issued around the world retained their full auto functionality. The British did not. They went semi-auto because, you know, why? I need clearance to go through doors like that. Thank you, Ocelot. Appreciated. Yeah, this is unsettling somewhat. That's Director Trench. 
Oh, that's an IRL photo. Eh. You need clearance. Okay, fine. I'll come back with clearance. I love the I love the tube mailing system. This is great. This is so cool. I believe one of my parents' old hospitals that they used to work at used a tube mailing system. Like one of these vacuum tube mailing systems. It's so cool. And also Costco used to use that back in the 90s. I remember seeing that back in the 90s. I'm the director, but I currently have clearance level zero. Where's that dude? Oh, there, there's that dude. Or... This person, I should say. Oh. That's fun. They didn't work. They they his has burrowed too deep. They they disappear into out rips them apart. They turn into nothing. That's great. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen, the Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. It's a bit on the nose, don't you think? The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. <laughs> I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out I some really files. love the... My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but... Like, the aesthetic is very 1960s, but this is definitely set in the modern... Like, this is a modern this is setting. Good. Which is really cool. The HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers, I think they're what saved us. But Ooh, he drums. We'll see Aldrazi sooner rather than later, right? No, Trench, the ghost. Or magic, 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 he magic, is. magic. He mentioned something called the Hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. Yeah, nothing is strange to Poe. Wearing one earlier. She Keep is. An eye out. She, yeah, she rolls with it because I think you kind of have to when you work I at a place like this. Director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons, too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Kusunoki, uh, Dr. Darling, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, that was the guy at the beginning talking about uh, the service weapon. The guy on the... I... Is he only in those cut cutscene type things? Take 
ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Okay. Follow the signs to the mailroom. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Okay. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Thanks, Emily. Ooh, more stuff. More stuff. Shatter projectile choke. Ooh. You know what that means? We're gonna get this thing to become a shotgun. Not a huge fan of shotguns. I'd rather have an, an assault rifle type platform. But... Oh, is motion blur on? I hope not. Usually turn that setting off. Oh yeah, don't need DLSS on, not for some. Oh, there is motion blur. Gross. There we go. Yeah, that... I knew that's... That's why it felt... That was one of the things that felt weird. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these control points kind of operate like bonfires in um, Dark Souls. I've not played Dark Souls, but... Uh, yeah, motion blur, I don't, mm, no. Fast travel points, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you, Uncle. Now I'm headed north? Yes. Oh, that's a great way to do motion, to do map markers. That's great. Oh, it's very in-universe. Subtle, but apparent. Like, like, this is where you want to go. This is where you want to go. Okay, cool. Thank you, game. There it is again. Our welcome message. Oh, look at the way this this pistol friggin' moves and stuff. That's so cool. Can I not change over the shoulder? Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, that's why it's throwing me off. It's over her left shoulder, not over her right. Can I change that? Is there a way to change that? Oh, it's R. Oh, okay. Because I kept using R to reload. Can I shoot through this? Yes, I can. So, glass, say hello to bullet. I need more bullet. No, I have more bullet. I saw. Oh, got an enemy. Oh, that's weird audio stuff. Travel costs? Where? I have stamina? Yeah, I have stamina. Oh! We have Emony. That blows up. Four shots on- oh. Oh. Oh wow, that did a lot of damage. What the hell did that- that thing hit me with. Yeah, the 
the visual the visual communication language is real oh right all right give me a second I'll, I'll be in there in just a minute i'll be right with you i will i'll be right i saw a thing up here can i get there i don't think i can Overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. Quick I need more health now. Punching is mega nerf unless you spend skill points on it. Gotcha, thank you. Oh. Oh I remember I remember this from the speed run. I think. What is this? Machine God? Uh, that's... Okay. Like, there's a ladder. If I remember correctly, there was a ladder that, um, that speedrunners used to get up there. Singing fish. S spawns? Spawns? Oh, enemy spawns. Where the shield? Well, that's great. Got him. Oh, that. The language for reloading is so cool. It spins. That's really cool. This game is a visual feast and I love it. Running around finding stuff. Dead letter approval. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not getting stuck there. Oh, nope, this one. Thanks for popping your, your heads. Already? I can cleanse this point? No, that seems... Oh! Should've shot them. Fushinoki, yeah, control is very resource intensive. I even get the. I got an RTX 3070 in this thing, so. And also, I'm not streaming off the same PC, which does give me an advantage. Otherwise, God knows I wouldn't be able to play this while streaming. It'd be awful. Ooh, yes! Haha! <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disc held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disc, of course, but one exactly like it—a perfect fusion of concepts. Eighty kilobytes. Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on, and they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disc, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched three, three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. That's cool. I love it. I love it. It's so good. I'll be in. I'll be over there in a second. Right track. One second. We gotta scour this place, Jesse. Every single collectible. Oh, what? Oh, he oh hell! 
What the deuce? What the hell is this? It's a friggin' SWAT team with grenades. And I'm trying to aim at their head. I need to take a gun off the field. Treat this like battle tech. Get your shotgun wielding ass out of here. I didn't ask for this. You guys just spawned on me. The bloom on this is a little bit nuts. Come on. Yeah, I... There is an amount of time between... There's an amount of time in the bloom in the reticle. It's not expressed by the reticle itself, but... Where did, where did they... Oh, there they went. Come on. That was just bad shooting on my part, I will admit. That is blo Oh, come on. Oh, Jesus. Do you mind? Oh, I'm getting stuck on geometry. And the cafeteria is clear. This looks like a tornado hit it. That's fun. Oh. Bathroom. With stuff. Oh yeah, I can't wait for telekinesis. <clears throat> Almanac. I, I, I want TK so I can start chucking shit at people because this is a load of hot garbage. Uh, uh, Yeah, I ain't going in there yet. <laughs> nah. I just came from here, didn't I? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah. Getting used to the layout of the, the oldest house. All of a sudden, shielded enemies? What the hell? That's a load of hot garbage. Give me more stuff. <laughs> I need shelter from the shelter. Truer words. Truer words. Alright, communications department. One second. What time is it? It's been an hour. I think it's a good idea for a break right now. I'm gonna call a break, gonna hit the head, and I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Well, bam.
I have returned. I got a little bit worried there for a second because it looked like there was a disconnection in OBS. And I, I you know, a little, little bit of a scare, just a tiny bit. And then it reconnected and my worries were assuaged. So, I hope everyone has hydrated up, went to the bathroom, all that good stuff. Given the rate that I go, well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, so there was a disconnection, yeah. There was a slight disconnection, but it didn't last for that long, so technically the stream didn't go down. I don't think, but anyways, let's get back to it, shall we? Resumeth game. All right. Oh, I already searched these, didn't I? Yep. Oh! Oh, yes! I remember this from the... Object of power. Something close have latched on to it. We need to cleanse it. Do you mind? Yeah, that poor, poor man. I'll get to it in a minute. I'm picking up stuff. It seems to do it in bursts of three. Wait for it. Ah, here it is. I remember this from the speed run. Ah, damn it. Oh, come on. I'm trying to do speedrun strats. Get on the ladder. Get on the ladder. Oh, dinger. Oh, never mind. We're not doing speedrun strats, and it makes me sad. Damn it. Trying to get all fancy over here, and I can't get fancy. Yep, bursts of three. Yeah, literal, actual speedrun strats. I was trying. I'm putting points into TK, that's for damn sure. The floppy disk slash nuke can be bound to gain launch slash telekinesis. Teach us to believe, Director. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Ooh. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, look at all the debris I could launch at people. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. Look at the reflections in this game. thingamajig, right? So, hey, the floppy you saw the video about? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Alright, uh, enemies that I can launch stuff at? Oh, I gotta wait for my... Come on over! Oh! Oh, that's good!
I gotta wait for stuff to recharge. And if there's no debris, I can rip stuff off the walls? Oh, that's just wonderful. I love it. Oh. There were a pair. Huh. The hiss is everywhere. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Hi, friends. <laughs> Taste it. Oh, this feels good. Oh, I missed. Oh, that's... Ooh, sex. Are you, are you coming up? You coming? Oh, no. Mm. God, that feels good. That... This is a great way to introduce an ability. Hi. It's telekinesis! How can you not go mad with power? You're chucking stuff all over the place. Everything highlights saying, oh yeah, you can lift that. You can lift that. You can lift that. That? Yeah. Just feels good. Especially against enemies that have shields. When my first encounter with them was walking into the communications department going, what the hell just happened? What happens when you accelerate a cardboard box to the speed of sound? Let's find out. Yes. Oh. Do you mind? Jiminy Chrysler. Ooh. Oh, that I didn't want to do that. Oh, I'm putting it down. Did that? What was in that? Oh, it was a wire. I thought that was like fluid. That looked like fluid. Book club, Samson. And house memory. Can I upgrade the pistolet? Uh, oh, wrong. Proceed through the communications department. I can press G to upgrade. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Um, personal mods. Energy recovery speed plus 16%. Health recovery per element pickup. Oh, that seems good. 21% health boost. All right, let's go with health recovery per element pickup. And then weapon mods. Damage against enemy armor. 45%. Seems solid. Assets. Oh, I don't have a clearance level. Conceptual material. I have to could be at a control point to craft. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. Rabadu? Did they fix this? I think they did.
How do I just let it down? Oh, whoa, the environment destruction is really cool in this game. Out of survey! Out of survey. Doing stuff in the mailroom. I keep hitting E. God damn it. F is the confirm button. Not E, it's F, Hans. F. Shatter, projectile, burst. Boost? Burst? It's a burst. Mail sax. Saxo mail. Launch efficiency. Sweet. But I don't have that many mods to equip. This must open the door. Oh, dude, what the hell? Okay, nah, nah, what? What happened to you there, buddy? That man is not okay. I, I, I don't believe that man is among the living anymore. Um, We'll take a look at this after what I assume is going to be a boss fight. That's a big old pool of blood. Look at that reflection, though. That's nice. Boss fight. Boss fight. Give me something to chuck it, dudes. Hello there, flying friend. Oh, that was... That was trash garbage. Oh, this guy's... This guy gets it. There are ads. There are ads. Oh, God. We got ads. Where are more ads? Oh, no. Enemy. Oh! Damn it. The ray tracing really does help sell the visuals. Ads are just health delivery systems, right? Yeah. I think I just need to be smarter about this. Um, I need to choose a smaller projectile. Because it seems obvious to me that Tomasi over here does is okay with being shoosted. Just not okay with. You're gonna throw stuff at me? Come on. We got ads. I just saw. I think I just saw ads spawn in. Oh. Ads? Yeah, we got ads. I need you to stay up against this wall so I can shoot at you easier. 
Oh, that was not great. You have Heleth? Give me Heleth. This. back here. Oh, got... Oh, dinger. Alright, I need to run around, run around, run around. What? Where are these angles? Oh, there are these angles. Getting better at that. I just need to shoot at you. I stop doing things. Checking around for ads. Oh, I don't have a dash ability. That would make this fight a little bit more even. Didn't even notice that... that guy behind me. Oh, shit! That's bad. Almost dead. Almost dead. Lamasi. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mail room. I thought there was stuff down here. Not just stuff to chuck around. I thought I saw stuff. That was a fight. <laughs> Thank you, Ocelot. Thank you. That was, uh... I think... I think it honestly comes from playing, <laughs> playing Mass Effect on, what, highest difficulty? Because you just, you have to be conservative in, like, all your fights. So, just being, you know, running around, trying to, like, getting angles and stuff. Nah. Nah. Conservative. Make sure my- Oh, goddammit. Your angles are covered. Or stuff. Roberto Tomasi, head of comms. The hiss right, got him. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Yes, Embassy Sir, Sir Garrett Cameron, yes. Very much so. This and high-end ME3 power. combat are very similar early Numerous on, yeah. Personnel that, have at least that's what it seems like. Ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds of all that in the show up inside a U.S. embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? <laughs> That's the hotline chamber. Well, in we go. The hotline can't be far now. Okay. Duh. 
That's the same. That's the same painting as the one that was downstairs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hotline security log. Take a look at that in a minute. Ah, yes. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Before? The Ocean no. View Motel and Cas- Oh! A lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them. Barobros. Something recognized from a dream. The board that looks like. This is- Oh my god, this is pretty! Holy hell. You can see the dust motes. There's an extended version of what Trench told me in the menu if I care. I will take a look at that, honestly. Oh, wait. Right. Ding, ding. First things first. I'm going to check everything out. Then I'm going to ding, ding. Bring a ding, a ding, dong. It's so good. The lighting and Hello? Anyone here? I remember this from the speed run. And That sounded like a train. There's so much cigarette smoke baked into this place yes sir garrett cameron a lot of those little scenes have very different context than the full scenes and that's an interesting story choice to me oh huh. oh i found there's a key key has a black pyramid on doors it. and keys keys and doors and oh wait hold up hey Ah, yes. Yes, 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 yes. And three times a charm. Oh, I love the way this game does that. Oh my god. How do they do the asset loading like that? Like, just seamless. Absolutely gorgeous. Hotline Seashell is a transmitter slash bridge. Characters can call the board slash long distance. <laughs> oh, there's stuff. Oh, wrong. That... That thing's just mad. Have to get over there. Okay. I don't have a dash ability. I don't have... Okay, well... I guess this is one of those... Hello, friend. Not friend. Yep. Kinda figured that's how it'd play out. That's just a ball of mad. I'm a sprinter. Follow me. Alright. I can't even shoot them. I can't throw stuff at them. 
Mad because small, jealous of tall. <laughs> they very jelly. They are very... Okay, let me get my stam back. Well dialed. You can contact us slash cells in the hotline collectibles menu. We expect compulsive weekly calls. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Snap back to reality. Well, well, there's still gravity. He feels more like an echo, an echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. I'm gonna have to shoot my way out. I'm assuming strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Das ist los. Wait. Bureau, wait, hold up, hold up, wait, what? Oh. There was a shiny on the console outside the door. There was a shiny on the console outside the door. Over here? No, console, you said. So, it'd be over here. Yeah, Trench's body's gone. Nothing there. Oh, it's in the hallway. Gotcha. Thank you, Ocelot. Hallway, hallway. Shiny. But supplement. Okay. Still th that's four people. Hold up. People move around in the paintings? Is this some Harry Potter type shit? Oh, hold on. Ah, oh, I can't. Ah, pfft. Already destroying his... <laughs> well, I didn't bother to clean up the blood, but his body's gone. Ati. Can, can you... There's there's blood? There's, there's, there's a lot of blood. Kind of need that gone. I am the director now. Through the central executive into the board room. Oh, that's clearance level four. Body might have disappeared like the person I tried to cleanse. True. True. But I didn't attempt to cleanse. Tr oh, maybe because he's dead. Ah, oh, it's just a radio. Whoa, what the hell is that? One second. Okay, that's a weird effect on the corner there. There's like a, a ghost image on that corner. That's interesting. T 
to the boardroom. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss? Sorry, you made it. One second, there's stuff. Emily? There's let's talk. There, of course. That there's there's stuff on the there's stuff on the table. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. Temporal In anti aliasing shenanigans. He talked about his management <laughs> team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He is gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors. But it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. I love how monolithic everything is. Okay. Oh yeah, temporal anti-aliasing, yeah. T-A-A or T-X-A-A? -A? Temporal, I don't know what the X stands for in that. Board countermeasure, board countermeasures. Okay, cool. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Where is it coming from? I'll go look. Hi, Jesse. Uh, okay. Origin of the hiss. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. Weapon forms no, are what I wanted to look at inside. to get different kinds of gun. Yes. Yes. The Looking at house is a if I can get an AR, with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there, if you ask me. But I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the Bureau Headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. I, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? 
It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. FXAA, fast approximate, TA, temporal. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. MSAA, multi-sample anti-aliasing. FXAA, fast approximate anti-aliasing. TA, temporal anti-aliasing. And DLSS, which is, yeah, NVIDIA's thing. Um, uh, dynamic... L stands for something, and then super sampling. Director Trench. This Trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Mm. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I need the gun to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. I've seen TXAA as well. Temporal Approximate Anti-Aliasing. I think I saw it in XCOM. XCOM 2, specifically. Ooh, you're making hash brown casserole tonight? Very nice. This is a... This is what bro Brussels sprouts, bacon, ground beef, and chicken. This is great. I love it. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. Objects of power are things you can use. Altered item... Altered items are things you can't. <laughs> Edron resonance amplifiers. Oh, well, they don't look like what I associate so Edrons stop with. You from becoming hiss. It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling <laughs> started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one it seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Well, that's everything. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Yep. Just let me <laughs> know. Okay. Yep, Jesse got all that. None of those words went overhead. Nope, not a one. like it's coming from the elevator. I heard that this attack the power plant brings up a lot of new questions. Are they communicating? Coordinating? What about the plant attracted them? The power plant is largely confidential. No use guessing the Hiss's motives if we don't even know what kind of energy it uses. What do you mean? It has to be a fusion reactor. There's no other way to create that kind of energy output, right? I mean... Perhaps in a mundane sense. Ooh, abilities. Um, I mean, launch two. Ooh. Um, not enough ability points, not enough ability points. Hmm. 
Strange collection. Collect 40 collectibles. Cool. Want more Helleth? Yeah, more Helleth is is a good choice. That bleep bloop is X is because this is run on the Xbox app. So this is run on um which it's kind of surprising that it's not appearing on stream. Unlike Steam, um usually it would pop up and it would appear on stream, but it doesn't. That's cool. Astral constructs. Weapon forms. I mean, shoot gun, mods. Oh, these are common mods. Eh. Shoot gun. Do I want a shoot gun? I like range, and I like throwing stuff at things. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. That said, outfits. I'm sorry. What? Ah, oh, damn it. Open for like a business suit or something. The Pope has asked us to talk to him about his incantation, she calls it. You mean like in person? In person, with a pencil and paper. I think she's trying to get us killed. Wait, I thought you weren't allowed to bring pencils in. <laughs> like, that's how I played Mass Effect 3. Infiltrator, all the way. Infiltrator, all day, every day. Um... from the containment sector. I'll put in the request with Pope. Okay, so where the hell do I go then? Oh yeah, that would be great, Ocelot. Thank you. I would love to know where all the outfits are during the playthrough. That would be fantastic. No, we're in the... Where does fun go? Sector elevator? Oh. Time to further meet me in the main Renanos. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. You can make a shotgun, an SMG, a scopeless sniper rifle, and a rocket launcher. Oh yeah, very fair, Sarah. Very fair. Yes, we do not know if we'll be doing this next week. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Oh. Maybe it was Ati. I remember correctly. It felt like you made the elevator appear that took me to trenches. Before office. it was patched out. Um. Is Ati guiding me too? Like you could TK yourself into like no geometry areas in the world, and you could actually get on the other side of walls and hit. Oh, oh I think it was a camera control thing where you could just clip it through the wall and then hit the button on the other side. That was also in the speedrun. <laughs> but that's been patched out. You can down patch it, and I think that's what they do to speedrun that. Oh, that's level two. Oh, telekinesis yourself. Like you would you would stand on an item and then you would hit like like you do kind of a number like this and then hit E, hopefully targeting it like that. And try to like jam it into a place and then try to climb up on it or use it to clip yourself because of the way that the, the objects used to interact with your player model. But that doesn't work anymore. Oh, thank you, Almanot. Oh, wait, hold on. Hello. 
Thank you. Do appreciate it. Clarence level two. Oh, dinger. Oh, well, my clearance doesn't matter. Book Club Lopez. Yeah, the, the speedrunning community, obviously, with powers and abilities and stuff, they will find anything to try to get you out of bounds. Especially for, well, for any percent runs, anyways. NSC control room. Janitor's office is that way. The directorial override is right there, in the control room. How do we get there? This is all bulletproof glass. Oh, hello, friend. Second, where are you? Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, that's fun. Oh, wow, that was bad. Come on, come on. point and cleanse some people have way too much time to rub themselves against every conceivable surface and some that are inconceivable <laughs> it is one of the things though when, when you think about how a game has to program like for example if you pick up an object right do you want to make that corporeal or incomporeal uh, incomporeal uh, compared to the player model, because there are certain things you have to account for. Like, should it be able to pass through the character because you're holding it? Should it not? Stuff like that. How does it interact with you and the space around you? Which is why, you know, it's not even rubbing yourself against surfaces. It's like, okay, here's a corner. Here's me lifting a thing, and then I'm just gonna jump and lift, yeah, lift a thing and see what happens. Right? It's like, alright, let's, let's do this number. Usually you do it with a fridge or something like that. But yeah. It's the episode I'm thinking. TK wasn't involved. Alex just put a sign on the ground, stood on it, then picked up the sign. Carrying himself. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, it's not broken anymore. <laughs> Clip the camera through so I can hit the button. Oh no, wait! I remember how that works because um, there's there's a state in the game where you load in, but your player model doesn't. So you're just literally a floating gun. And then with that, you can actually you walk up to these things, and that's how you're able to clip th your camera through the walls. Yeah, I remember now. Really fat. Oh, hold up. We got contacts. Oh my god, that's satisfying. impulse There's stuff over here right that I was looking at no nothing <laughs> you spent a lot of this game going that guy died right and then all of a sudden spawn in you're just like what in the what's down that way that just flashed red Up. I'm in nowhere. 
Ugh. This place makes me nauseous. Oh, heck. That was not optimal. An object of power. How do you think it got down here? It's a merry-go-round. Horse. A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? What does the horse do? Oh, control to. Oh, yeah, baby! What? Oh, dinger. Oh, I climbed. Timing was off. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so what do I do? Speaking of TA, all the hiss smoke effects use the same basic principle, just in a different way. The stuff in the smoke streaks of previous frames. I'm gonna have to get used to this particular setup for... Oh wow, that's really bright. That's really bright. Okay. I have a dash. Damage boost. Ooh, that's spicy. Hold up. Can I... Damage against enemy armor. I'll keep the enemy armor. Threshold remnant. Stuff on the shelves, mostly. Mostly objects I can fling. Why would you have. Why, why would you have a picture of yourself outside your. Okay. Questionable. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yep. Yippee, Satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Couldn't get approval for a nameplate. <laughs> Only Ati here seems <laughs> So to full see post that. of yourself, you know. Yeah, great how, solution. Ati, look, we need to get the lockdown lifted. Otherwise, I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Ah, yeah, 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 
you would think there's a oh, it is seven. in this. Fantastic. I can tell you are not the yesterday's grouse's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. I'm out of us, Mumperikele Suora, that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, Perikele. And the pensioner inside. He's starting to feel the pant around his head tight. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a part in Sahara. Trying my best <laughs> to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left Auntie's you great. instructions. You'll catch the end of the trip before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes. Oh, else could I cancel my holiday? Oh, the pensioner the inside. But don't worry, Interesting. Yet, though. You'll take care of it, and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now. So you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. What a mess. Burn the trash. Burn the trash. Throw it in the fire. Burn it all. Burn it into a reindeer, not into a moose. Uh, I'm sorry, what? What is loss? What? Yes. is the director. He's starting to climb on the walls in his bachelor flat. I could sit here and listen to him all day, but Ocelot did say it is 7 o'clock, so a break is a good idea, and I'm going to take one for the time being. So, with that, I am going to turn us over to a break, so don't go anywhere. I'll be back. And I'll actually put music on this time. Break time.
Hello, I have returned. How is everyone doing? Hope everyone made the most of their break. I got a ref I refilled both my water bottles because water bottles. Um Hello there, Julian. How's it going? Um what do we got here? And thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate it. On behalf of the Bird Games, I do appreciate it. Mm. Hello there, KDM1412. Hello, hello. And we shall now resume. We shall now resume control. Ah. Uh, Thank you, Adriana Figueroa, but it is time for control. Let's get into the power play. You have pizza waiting and plan on playing this game at some point, so I'm going to scoot on out pretty quick, but I wanted to say hello. Thank you very much, and hello, hello. Once again, thank you for the raid. Enjoy that pizza. What kind of pizza? Curious, before we continue, what kind of pizza? Very curious. Pepperoni. Good choice. From where, if you don't mind me asking? Pizza's a, pizza's important business, Ocelot. You know that. Ooh, chicken nuggies. Mmm. Local place? Very nice. Very nice. Sorry, I just, like... It's pizza. Um, I mean, one of the best budget pizzas, in my opinion, are Costco pizzas. 10 bucks like their 10 their combo pizza when they were serving it before in the before times so good so good thank you Ati. what uh, hold up all right i'ma just leave buck 50 a slice ten dollars for the whole pie and they have made, uh, and it's also a dollar fifty for hot dogs, and they have kept that price since the nineteen eighties. Same with the rotisserie chicken, always being five dollars. If I remember the, the quote, the CEO. Um, I think someone in sales or something brought to him. It's like we can't keep selling rotisserie chickens at five dollars a chicken. He's like, I don't give a shit. We're gonna keep selling it that way. Damn it. Yeah. Which? Oh. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Direct power. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Okay, trench. Keep the lights on. Thank you, trench. Ah. Well. Yeah. Control is wild. It's the it's um it's the it's it's not the SCP Foundation TM. <laughs> In fact, when I was, like, playing through this, it reminded me, I, I don't know if anybody here is familiar with this, uh, this old YouTube vi video. It's called Cule Theory. For the longest time, I had tried to think of what this video was, but it's, it's called Cule Theory. C-U-I-L. Look it up and watch it. And, and enjoy. NSC power plant. Oh, we have humans. We have real, actual humans. One second, there's a shelter here. I'm gonna check for resources. Ooh, it's a clean shelter. We have threshold remnant. I don't want a scatter shot. That's not opening because. We are in lockdown. Yeah, Cule Theory, I... Actually, you know what? I'm doing this right now. Because I have it bookmarked. 
for this reason so that I will never forget this. It's important. It's important to me. It's it's an extremely important video. <laughs> hey, hey, are you new? Go talk with Chief Arish in the security group. He's in charge here. Ma'am, hey, Chief Arish, FB FBC. They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah, Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on, you're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit show down here. Mm -hmm. We've been holding yeah. our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies hasn't reckoned the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have the chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing. <laughs> uh, Salvador had a security okay. asked me to protect it in case of an attack. Might want to take a closer look at the soldiers. the gun the guard house I was holding when I get the chance. Okay. Darling, he's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Wow, the... I knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Well, that's catchy. Listen, the radios aren't working, so if he's voiced by Ronan there, Summers. Please ask him what the plan is. I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Unless I have to, to kill your boss. First things first, I should probably talk to you. Blockages and when the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. What do you know about the Hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the Hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. <laughs> or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. Or she's just trying to get through case, a shift and all this stuff really keeps happening. Get inside the power plant. Sounds Why like a day at the foundation, it? right? Shit, I don't know. I want to make my life harder. Like... <clears throat> It's like, imagine trying to be, like, a mobile task force for the SCP Foundation. I could just imagine it kind of being like this, you know? A security guard at a foundation, like, at a foundation black site, and all of a sudden there's a containment breach, and you're just running around trying to determine, uh, can I hurt things with guns? Does, do guns work? What are you doing Will here? they get inside my head? We security don't know. The maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the Learned everything I know from Salvador, the best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest, these are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah, it's all part of the job. What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. The thing is director only. Secrets keep people safe. French use it. Sounds like that gun At least that's how this place operates. Damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. T 
Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. And he probably knows more than anyone else around here. You can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Well, he's from where he's from. Right? The facial yeah, acting is so good. Better left unturned, you know? There's some definite examples of what you don't know. What you don't know about can't hurt you. You know, that is go. fair. That is quite fair. Right. You got a lock down the lift. Oh, I see the point. Look at all these maintenance folks. Ooh, there's stuff. Give me your stuff. Ritual impulse. Ooh, there's a thing. Alright, what are you carrying? Hold up, is that a Lewis gun? I'm sorry, is that a Lewis gun? What is this, World War One? Alright, one second. Okay. Here's a little primer for all y'all. This is a 1960s aesthetic game. This is a light machine gun from the First World War. Someone downstairs was carrying a weapon that looked about a modernized version of a 1940s or 50s weapon. Look alive. Director on deck. Yeah, that's a Lewis gun. Oh, I love that. That's cool. That is cool. I gotta say, that is quite cool. You have a Lewis gun too? Uh. Um... I'm really curious about what the hell is going on in this facility. Because... Oh, hello. Television? Oh. Wait, how the hell are you getting power for this TV? Lewis guns. Lewis guns. It's depressingly standard issue. How the hell do you standard issue a gut... What did they standardize on 303? What? Essential maintenance. Oh, there is. Hello, friend. Or I shouldn't say friend. <laughs> Hold up. Where are you? You gotta do a thing. Hi! Hi! Dickens? You have a rocket launcher. That's not fair. Flying enemies will almost always dodge my thrown items. Thank you. That's actually quite useful information. Energy recovery. I see control room. Central maintenance. Bullet pumps and energy converters. 
All right, off to the coolant pumps. What else we got? What else we got? Hello? Oh, we got enemy. What are you? Explain yourselves. things. Oh, fuck. Oh, I didn't realize there was an enemy that close. What the hell? That wasn't pleasant. They want to give me a hug and then blow up. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell. Our plants this way, coolant. Oh, that's really red. This is a point I have to cleanse. There's something flying. You guys mind? Up here so I can shoot you. Oh, SMGs at that range. Oh, that's not. <laughs> Taste it. The smoke provides really good cover for them. Right? Getting them coming and going? Just feels good. Okay. This game is really, really good. Why haven't I played this until now? I've seen so many videos, watched speedruns. Okay, so Furnace Chamber seems like... Oh! Adi, you left your your cart here, and it's playing music. So, this is the furnace room, and it has this big bright thing, and there's some nuclear, there's some biohazardous waste. Oh, this is that burning trash side quest? Okay. Oh, hold up. Full of hazardous biological material. Most likely the breakings of environmental regulations on waste disposal. But if that's what Ati wants, then I'll get it done. Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the Parakinesiology Department. I will use it if I discover the code Omega Paranatural Entity okay. within the Bureau itself. Right under our noses. Okay. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince her. What, you're talking about the board? Furnace can speak. Oh. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. Did 
you hear that? It's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked, and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe it. Oh, oh, uh, what? Yes, I can feed you. Um, what do you eat? Okay. I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. What? Oh, you don't, doctor. 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 I'm sorry, but no, you don't. That ain't. No, you don't know. Right? Feed, Missy. What? No, no, we, we don't. We don't do that around here. I'm just gonna toss all this biohazardous material. Ooh. Curry. Oh, from downtown. Oh, okay, they've got to be down here then. Name of the three point gods, in you go. <clears throat> that hurt me. Mail tube complaint. I do love the way these objects interact with the environment. One more. I'm missing one. One of these barrels is a sneaky bastard. Well, that's not it. It's glowing in green. Should be able to find it. Right? <laughs> oh, I can't hover yet. Right. I can do that, though. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Curry! I just believe in the spirit of Steph Curry and I found it. Just like that man can shoot from anywhere. It's ridiculous. Um All right, so the furnace is done. Wait. Huh. 2 AP and a weapon. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, right, I have to have to go to thing. Wait, there was that is a control point. Just hold together a little longer. Catastrophe can wait. Skill points, correct. Uh it's up oh right here. Yes, 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 yes. Abilities. <laughs> uh, yes. Punch basic enemies when their health is low? Yes. Um, yeah. 10% to energy, 10% to melee damage. I want launch 3. Launch just seems busted. Astral Constructs, Weapon Forms. Oh, I need 15 Ritual. I have 8 out of 12. It's really busted until halfway through the game. That makes sense, because you have enemies that are 
it, the difficulty is going to scale. You're going to have enemies that are more resilient to your stuff. Like, I have a mod that says armor, that pierces armor, and... Oh! Oh! Missed that. God, flinging dead bodies around? What? Gravity Gun couldn't do that. Not until the last level of the game. In this chamber already did that. Broken. Go to shift it. Fix it fast. If the plan goes boom, we can throw the spoon in the hole. Okay, Ati, I... Sure. I don't know what that phrase means, but I understand that we don't want shit to go sideways. So... Yeah, corpsed. Although... In